too often, I think that dealers think that the experience is just kind of like this mythical, like, you know, dragon or unicorn that everyone's trying it's to. It's going to cost uh, us so much money. It's going to cost us a lot of money. Right? It's, it's, it's going to take a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of resources. When, when in reality, an experience is all these little tiny things. And we can process the crap out of these little tiny things. You know, and I'd love to kind of get your thoughts on, you know, how do we process the experience? Wow. I mean, again, comes back down to communication. I was listening to your show a little earlier on this week. They were talking about Thank the fact that. that, you know, they're training some people in terms of how to, to behave in front of a customer when you're customer facing, right? Because those people are not going to be taking leads or, but, you know, if we realize that, you know, we are consumers, our consumers are just like us, you know, yes, some people are going to prefer to come into the dealership. Yes, some people are going to be ready. They're going to come into the dealership a lot more ready if you prep them in advance with some great communication, For video, sure. content. Sure. And your close is going to be that much higher if you've paved the way for that. If you keep in your card close the way we used to do it when it comes to payment examples, when it comes to trade evaluation, I mean, the simple word estimate, like, let's not make a big deal out of this. I'm going to provide you with an estimate for your vehicle based on the market value. Do you have some time today to discuss that with me at 3.30? Moving that customer to the next level of communication, um, everybody's got to improve their communication. That's going to be the game changer going forward. So whether you're handling leads, whether you're handling phones, whether you're in person, there will be some digital communication aspect to your follow-up with that customer, whether they buy or not, whether they need more information, whether you want a referral from them. This is where people can really improve their games going forward is by focusing in on that. The better you communicate through all these tools that are not facing, the better you're going to build the trust, the more your customers are going to respond to you, and the more you're going to close. So it's a mathematical formula, and it all starts with the quality of communications we put out there.